Hey, welcome to Tell Me About. Today I was interviewing... Yo, welcome to Tell Me About. Today I was interviewing Jeremy Baumberg, professor here at the University of Cambridge. I was asking about quantum and what it really is. Firstly, what does quantum mean? So quantum is just actually about dividing something up into a small chunk. So if you have light in this room like this, we might think it's just everywhere, but actually quantum physics tells us it's all in little small chunks, and we call those quanta. How is that a different way of looking at physics itself compared to just general physics? What makes that different? So uh, we might see how that would work in electrical currents, because we know that electricity, electrical currents, are made up of electrons moving. So when we try and measure smaller and smaller currents, we find that instead of getting something which is continuous, it actually comes in little bursts. Each electron carries some charge with it. And so if you measure very, very precisely, we find there's a noise, a graininess in current. And actually that sets the limit for how smooth uh, a current can be. And when or who first started looking at electricity or other kind of things in this way? So uh, people really over you know, several hundred years started to realize that the world was built out of small chunks. So even the idea of atoms only a hundred years ago was starting to gain currency, but people had ideas that it must be something like that. Uh, the uh, electron was discovered in Cambridge by J.J. Thompson in the center of Cambridge. And so people were then playing with the experiments which were inside vacuum, and they could actually measure individual things arriving, though they found that very difficult. What they generally did was that they uh, chucked a hold of electrons or particles or something and see where they ended up. And then they decided, oh, from where they ended up, they must be actually interacting as points, not as continuous things. But it wasn't really until we got to the stage of looking at atoms and understanding them that we became very comfortable with this idea. Does this kind of um, play a role in the particle wave duality? Or how do we know that certain particles behave as particles or as waves? Or do they interlink? So now we think that everything is both a particle and a wave, even ourselves. Uh, but it actually depends on our mass, so the wave-like property gets more important the smaller our mass is. So our wave-like properties are pretty small. Um, but by the time you get down to the single particles, the wave-like properties become really important. And for instance, it actually starts to determine things in our lives, like the color of the sodium lights, the sodium street lights, is actually set by quantum mechanics, which we'll talk about. So is it kind of like there are two different regimes and in the big scale we're like particles but very small we're waves? As we go down in size there's some place in the middle where things both have wave-like and particle-like properties and it actually depends on how you look at them, how you measure them. So we can look at uh, electrons in, a, in an atom and sometimes we actually see their wave-like properties when we're trying to understand uh, their energy levels, the colors that, 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 that can be emitted. But at other times, we measure their particle-like properties when we actually measure an electron arriving on a detector, and we can measure it arrive at a point in time. So the same particle, in, in even nearly the same experiment, can show both wave and particle-like properties. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like and subscribe to keep up to date with all of our latest videos as we'll have new ones coming out every Wednesday and Sunday. I'm never going to do that again.